This wasn't the first time that Derek Chauvin had attacked a person, you know, and put the knee on the thing and did all the rest. He did the same exact same thing to a teenager in 2017. So five years ago, he's going to put his knee on this teenager's neck for eight minutes, right, trying to choke him out, trying to kill him, trying to snuff him out, like, real slowly. Uh, you know, now I think about it, there might be some racist. Uh, maybe he's just a psycho who hates human beings, but... Uh, so the teenager, he hit the black teenager in the head. He hit the black teenager in the head, I think, with a flashlight or some shit. Ignored complaints that the boy couldn't breathe. This is identical. So the U.S. Justice Department is considering filing, you know, charges against Derek Chauvin for the police brutality that he displayed in 2017. Now, apparently, it was a woman who said that she was being attacked by her 14-year-old son and her young daughter. After officers entered the home and spoke to the woman, they ordered the son to lie on the ground. He refused. Within seconds, Derek Chauvin hit the teenager with his flashlight, grabbed the teenager's throat, hit him again with the flashlight, and then applied a neck restraint, causing the child to lose consciousness and go to the ground, according to Frank's account of the videos detailed in the following. What? Hit the teenager with his flashlight, grabbed his throat, hit him again with the flashlight, applied a neck restraint, causing the child to lose consciousness, and then go to the ground. So, okay, there's our heroes, right? There's our great boys in blue. Fantastic. I want good police. I really, God, I really do. But it's unfortunate that when it comes to problems in society, all the problems that we have in society, the cops are worse. So, drugs, mental health, domestic violence, abuse, cops are worse. So, when people say all cops are bastards, there's something to that because... They are worse than your average citizens, right? They got the state authority, state power, monopoly of violence. So, shit, they probably could. Domestic violence, right? Beat up their wife and children and whatnot, and they got the whole system that's going to defend their ass. So, I think it's terrible that cops have, you know, higher criminality, higher degrees of criminality than the rest of the population. So, it seems like we would stop a lot of crime just by... Disbanding the police. Now, the last thing I want to mention is that there's only been two c good cops in American history. There's only two good cops in American history. You tell me if there's any other good ones that you could think of. But a good cop, another reason why all cops are bastards is because when one of the other cops commit a crime, nobody else, you know, goes and uh, arrests him. So Serpico, Serpico, back in 1973, America, we had a good cop called Serpico. He, he didn't mind arresting, you know, um, another person if they committed a crime, and they just so happened to be wearing a uniform and a badge and a hat. The other good cop that America has had was Andy Griffith, which was a fictional character, but he didn't use a gun. He used his words to solve his problems. Aunt B would cook, would cook. A nice breakfast for the town drunk Otis, right? So old Otis, the town drunk, right? Just a nice, just like how we te treat the, the town crackhead or the, the town meth head, right? Just like Otis. Just a nice fun, come in, you know, put him in the drunk take, give him some breakfast, send him on his way. The violent video shows that Derek Chauvin and... What he put on his report versus what actually happened are two different things. The video shows all the violence. It's not consistent with the report. This is just identical. This is the exact same thing. Derek Chauvin, it wasn't, George Floyd wasn't the first time Derek Chauvin did this shit too. And, you know, if he would still been on the force, I guarantee it would have happened to somebody else if it wasn't George Floyd. He ignored complaints. The boy couldn't breathe. He's hitting a black teen in the head with a flashlight several times, choking him out, grabbing his throat. So the U.S. Justice Department is thinking of charges. I think they should charge. You know, Derek, you're not allowed to have double jeopardy, but if you've never been charged at all. And then three other cops. What about the, the other two or three cops that were on the scene? How are they not accessories, right? We could have saved the guy's life, but they made sure that the people in the audience that was paying attention, that his life wasn't saved. So I think the other two cops that were on the scene that helped to kill George Floyd should be charged too.
So I guess that's there. You go. 2017 stitches. He's gonna you know give a 14 year old black male teenager some stitches. Put the knee on top of the head. The neck thing. Eight minutes, and then nine minutes on the back. Right. So eight minutes on the knee on the neck. Trying to check him out. Then nine minutes on his back. Same shit. It's all the same shit. Eight minutes, I could have, right? Eight minutes, knee on the neck. That's what killed George Floyd was those eight minutes, knee on the neck. Yeah. And then I'll, I probably shouldn't say this. <laughs> but let me just say something about Derek Chauvin and... Um... Yeah, if, uh, if George Floyd wasn't all doped up on fentanyl, perhaps, you know, he, he would have resisted enough to where he would have made sure he lived. Not blaming George Floyd, blaming Derek Chauvin. Guy couldn't tell you that, you know, he's dying. Anyways, so, uh, there you go. There's only been two good cops in U.S. history, and cops tend to be more criminal than the average citizen.